What an exciting time of the year this is, with the sardine run, the shad run, and all the game fish that follow, and most anglers going out to target shad, tailor, or bluefish, as it's known all over the world. Most mornings, I like to put out a bigger bait, and on the side have my spinning rod handy, should the shad be around. In this case, we did a bit of fishing at Stabell and I advised my father-in-law to have a throw in the gully as I normally find some shad there this time of the year. It wasn't long and he was on. Whilst having a bigger bait out, I quickly rigged up my spinning gear with a drift bait. But the shad were few and far, and a fixed trace was more suited to get them. Really nice sized shad. So tonight, we've had a lot of sardines to eat over the last week, and I have some fresh shad tonight. Now these fish are very popular for several reasons. It makes good eating, but not when you freeze it. A lot of anglers use them for live bait, and the sports anglers just enjoy the ferocious fight. May it be on spoon or on bait. There are few and far between, you have to be patient to get them, and I'm fishing an actual sinker. Yeah, I'm fishing a sinker, but they come through and it's nice size. Now to think, these beautiful gracious fish, as they are swimming around now, can be so ferocious to incinerate any bait or bait fish put in front of them. There's very few things that beat standing on the beach with a rod in your hand and witnessing a beautiful sunrise. The KZN coast, especially this time of the year, being a jewel. Hibberdeen Main Beach is one of the very popular areas where the shad will turn most mornings. Anglers hoard in big groups to target these shoals of species where they come out. the sardines, in turn the shad, is a lot of game fish like garrick, cob and several other species you can target. Anglers come together and it looks like a knitting contest on the beach. That's when either a spoon or a drift bait will be most effective. Below in the description find the links of all the different traces and methods you can use to target shad. Sardine or pilchard still being the most popular bait. The shadow tailor comes through in abundance in winter months on the KZN coastline following the sardines and for the purpose of breeding. They move all the way from the Cape province as far as from Langebaan all the way to KZN. feeders are like the saltwater piranha. 
moving in smaller to large shoals and incinerating any living fish, bait fish or bait in the water. Shad caught on our coastline range from about 25 centimeters all the way up to a staggering 1.2 meter which makes it a 15 kilo fish and about 10 years old. Most of the shad caught, however, is under a kilo size. Over the last two seasons, we have seen some really quality shad, between three and five, even up to six kilos caught on the KZN coast. Bigger than that is rare and really a trophy catch. The anglers come together in large numbers every morning and in the afternoons to target shad, also known as tailor and bluefish. Also remember that these fish have got extremely sharp teeth and therefore the steel trace material is needed. And not only that, they have an enzyme on their teeth that prevents your blood from stalling should it bite you. So be very very careful and if they do, make sure you've got linens, stall dripples in your bag. Guys, when targeting Shadow Taylor, please remember that our limit here in South Africa is 30 centimeters, minimum size, and four per angler at a time. Also remember to fish responsible and keep our beaches and rocks clean. Thank you for watching ASFN and remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Push that little bell notification button to be notified every time we upload a video.